Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a web services using Oracle WebLogic server. So here I have configured Eclipse, you don't know, uh, sorry, here I have configured Oracle WebLogic server with Eclipse. If you don't know how to configure Oracle WebLogic server with Eclipse, then please watch my previous video tutorial. So, and uh, then come to watch this video. So here you will have to right click in the left panel and here you can go to the project and in this project if you scroll down then you will get option oracle right so if you would have installed I mean oracle plugin right to uh, configure oracle WebLogic server you need to install some adapter right so in that case you will get this option oracle and within the underneath oracle you will have a Web logic, then the web services, and on the bottom you can see web service project. So let's select this one. Click on the next, and here you can specify the web service project name. So I would, I will, like, I will type my first WS right my first ws ws stands for web service so you can give the any project name whatever you want and keep everything as default let's select er er membership and click on the next then uh, let's click on the next then select this one this is not anywhere required this deployment descriptor still you, you can select this is optional now click on the finish Now let's wait for a few seconds. Eclipse is processing, and this project will be created on the left panel in Project Explorer. Now you can see in left panel in Project Explorer, project has been created with my name by name my first uh, WS, and as we had selected ER, so one more supporting project is created by by my first WS ER. But uh, here, if you explore this project, expand this project, then uh, project, I mean, architecture is just like a web-based application, right? Now, go to the SRC, Java uh, Sources, and Java Resources, we have a SRC, and here, right-click over here, and let's create a web service project. So, go to the new option. Now, let's, let's create a class with package.com. Infotech dot uh, WS and here I'm going to uh, write first WS first web service and let's click on the finish. So here I have created a plain class so rather creating a plain class you can what you can do uh, you right click on the uh, project uh, package name and you go to the new and here you have a something it's called a web logic web service so let's select this one so this will give you the template basically and I would say first WS and let's click and don't select any policies else that will ask you to supply that policy explicitly so no policy i'm fine for this and let's click on the finish and this is the uh now let me increase the font size so go to the preferences type here font and colors and font I expand the basic and we have a text font let's add it and I'm going to increase the font size as 40 so for greater visibility now this is the web services I had created now let's I'm going to give the name as sum and in return type I'm going to specify as int and this is gonna take two number n1 and second number n2 and basically this will return the sum of these two numbers so it's very simple web services I'm going to write so here my intention is to show you how to write web services uh, 
in web logic right web logic server so i'll come up with the some different video series there i am going to cover i mean web services in much detail but here just i am going to show you how to create web services on the web logic and here you can see on if you click over here and you come to the bottom and you can even give the operation name so like you can see you can write like addition or adding you can say operation name adding so automatically this will put over here method name you put a cursor over here then you can give the argument name right argument meaningful argument you can give like first number so it's so convenient right so this is all you don't need to write manually again for second argument i can write second number right and that will paste you can even uh, you can write the web result as well like uh, you can write the result right uh, everything is you can, even if you have option to uh, specify a lot of many more things over here but i'll uh, leave up to here right sorry okay now let's save it and once you are done with this so at the rate web service this represents this class serves as a uh, web service class and imports happens to be from javax dot jws that's the part of the jdk itself and these are the annotations comes from this package and this package is just part of the jdk itself you don't need to uh, add any additional charts in your class path so almost we are done with creating the web service let's right click on this class and uh, select this option run as and one minute run as and you have a run on server and we have configured web logic server so let's select this one click on the next 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 and finally click on the finish So just wait for a few minutes. Now web services is getting deployed on the uh, web logic server, and that will come up with very nice UI. There we can test our web services. now you can see web service got deployed so on the web logic and here you can see test button so let's click on the test button and here if you scroll down then uh, you can specify this parameter first parameter and second number so first number i'm going to specify uh, 200 and second number i'm going to specify uh, 34 right and uh, let's invoke in, we have an invoke method right so uh, invoke button so let's click on the invoke and this is sending request to our uh, web services which just we have deployed and if you scroll down then you can see the this is the soap request right this is just a uh, when you work with the jacks ws web services this is jacks ws web services which sends the soap request to the our web services and our web service returns the soap response so this is our soap response you can see so we have sent set so this is a soap request which contains two input parameter right two numbers 234 and our soap response contains the result which is addition of these two number that is 234 right so this way you can test your deployed web services right if your web services are up and running then you can test your web services like this so uh, in most of the scenario if you have a wsdl uh, and you generate the stub and you can make call to the your web services right or if you have a wsdl then you can create a project like soap ui kind of tool and you can 
you can have a this kind of soap request and that will basically input parameter will come up with the some placeholder and that placeholder you will have to substitute with the some input parameter and you can send request and you can get the response but when you create a web service uh, in web logic then web logic itself provides you ui to test these web services so no further more details on the web services here our my intention was to show you how to create web services in uh, web logic so that's all i have in this video tutorial so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel so that i'll come up with some more videos and definitely that will be beneficial for you so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial